Regarding new stars is alpha 3.24 PTU patch for wave one. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribe and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's start. All right, guys. So this one is pretty good. They, well, at least it's pretty good based on some of the uh, uh, annoying issues that we had in the previous uh, few patches in 3.24 and um so let's just get straight into it test and focus remains the same the only thing that's remaining to be tested is dynamic uh event blade runner blockade runner sorry i don't know why i call it blade runner but what they did say earlier today is they intend um they're hoping that this build right here will be good enough um or the next couple build will be good enough so that they can run the blockade runner throughout the weekend so hopefully uh this is a good candidate for that so this is Blockade Runner is literally the last thing on their list to be tested. So I, I believe if this goes well, then I think we should be uh, approaching a release candidate. Okay, so um, in terms of the updates, uh, they've uh, made a few uh, features and gameplay updates. Under the gameplay category, they've added a slight boundary violation great time to planet kill volumes for vehicles. This may help with many random deaths while flying close to a planet's surface and water. Under ships and vehicles, they made the horny and arrow aerodynamics adjustment to avoid unintended behavior while yawing in atmosphere. There's a few bug fixes for this one, and this very first one is one of my favorites. It says uh, they fixed an issue while in your hangar, you can hear these sounds from other players' hangers. This is huge. <laughs> oh man yeah that that annoying sound that you hear uh once you enter hopefully all of it is gone and we don't have to hear it again all right they fix an issue where ships can spawn at the bottom of the ship elevator without being raised up preventing access they fix an issue where asap terminals for ground vehicles at lorville gates get stuck on infinite loading um access list of ships they fix an issue where when docking or retrieving a ship to docking port at a station, the docking arm will not extend. They fix an issue where ESP curvature tuning does not save between player sessions. They fix an issue where cargo crates can be contained towards multiple objectives. They fix an issue where hangar instance elevator can be called and arrived at the current floor, but the doors do not open. They fix an issue where you're unable to purchase or sell commodities from a kiosk from through auto loading. They fix an issue where using ship's bed loadouts while beside a distribution center will teleport the ship to the center of Stanton. What an interesting bug. They fix an issue where a player are unable to use vehicle service when landed at Grimhex. They fix an issue where um audio notification message when leaving a ship so it is no longer saying player was kicked from the channel i did notice this uh quite a bit in the last patch along with this is one client crash six server crash fixes one hybrid crash fix and one back-end service crash fix and they fix an issue causing excessive network spam while salvaging before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and catch you guys on the next one.